So we've built a track, we've created some effects, and now we want to use them in a live performance context. And there's some fun things you can do. And one of the techniques I want to show you is the idea of dummy clips. All a dummy clip is, is it's an audio clip that does not contain any audio information, just automation. And you can use that to put effects on various tracks and different sounds within your productions. So let's see how we do that. Right now, we've got our little piece of music. And I've got different groups set up. I've got some noises and effects that you can hear right over here. I've got my drum sounds. These are from our gravitational waves and some of our realistic drum program. I'm gonna minimize those. And then we got more of our melodic stuff right here. So these are all in their own little groups. I'm gonna create a new audio track. And I'm gonna set its input to no input. Find in this a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my melodic stuff to this track. And I'm gonna set the input to monitor in. Right now we've lost our melodic stuff, so we need to monitor that with this input here. And there's everything we have. And if I were to just lower the volume on this particular track, I'm controlling everything, all that melodic stuff through that track. So right now I need an audio clip, and I'm just gonna grab this clip right here. It doesn't matter what clip it is. I'm gonna turn down its volume completely. And I'm gonna take our effects we've created, the live performance effects, and drop them on this new audio track. And I'm gonna label this Music FX. What we can do with this audio clip is use its automation lanes to create some interesting moving effects for our music. So right now I've got my clip selected. I'm gonna go and select my low pass filter so that it will show up in my envelopes. And there it is, low pass. And we can minimize some of these guys out of here. And what I'm gonna do is just draw in a two bar filter sweep, just like that. So now when I play my music, and I trigger this clip, we'll get a two bar movement on our filter. We can see our filter moving there. And when we get to the end, it starts over again. And that's all automatic, so it's really easy to be within your live performance and just hit a clip, and then that effect will happen automatically just like that. So now let's bring that back up. And we're going to just create another one of these for, we'll copy that. We'll create a high pass filter now. So I'm going to select my high pass filter, double click on that, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw a little ramp, but this time we'll have a little more fun with it. We'll make it happen a little sooner, and then maybe at the end we'll do some strange little effects with our pencil tool. What I'm also going to do is just go back and delete our automation for our high pass filter, our low pass, excuse me. Delete that. And now when I trigger this clip, we will get some interesting stuff go on with our high pass. So our music is being filtered away as well as a delay being put on top of that. And we can kind of use the same idea for multiple tracks. Right now I've got my music going through this particular track, but I'm going to create another audio track, set its input also to no input, and I'm going to send my music to that track. I'm going to also send my drums to that track and my effects. So everything's going to that track. And I'm going to grab another audio clip and just drop it in here. And we'll put some effects on here too. So I've got to copy my effects over to this track. There they are, my live performance effects. And I'm going to select this Bit Crush Chorus. And I'm going to also go in here and just turn down the volume of this clip so we don't hear anything. And set its input to In. Now I'm gonna create some rhythmic effects. So I'm gonna get, I got my pencil tool going. Let me get my envelopes selected, my pencil tool. And I'm just gonna draw on some 
rhythmic spikes so that we get this kind of interesting movement going on happening with eighth notes. I'm going to, at the end, give us a little ramp up. You can do whatever you want here. This is all kind of arbitrary. I'm just having fun seeing what happens. But it's just to show you that you can really create some interesting movement to your track. So let's start our clip. So we've got our music effect happening here. We'll stop that. We'll bring our low pass back up. And now let's see what happens when we put everything through these effects. And you can kind of go in here in real time if you want to switch things up a little bit. Change these notes around until you get something you like. And just like that, you've got some interesting effects going on that you can switch between relatively easily with just the press of a button. So I hope you find that interesting. It's a really fun way to add some life to your live performances in a very simple way. Everything's automated. It's just a matter of switching between your clips. Thank you.